Hi, my name is Coldbeer and while we wait for Diablo 2 Resurrected, let us take a look at the best mods available for Diablo 2 right now. Let's start with Pluggy. This may be a simple mod, but it offers a lot of life quality improvement changes, such as infinite storage space in the stash, which is also shared with all your characters. Yep, in single player. So if you like to play alone as I do, this stuff is really important. Also it enables ladder only rune wards and uber bosses. You can also kill the cow king and still open the portal after the event. This is a great mod that upgrades the vanilla version really well, and that doesn't feel like cheating at all. In fact, many of these improved improvements will be implemented in resurrected version as well. Reaper of Souls this is a confusing name, I give them that. Especially when you try to search for info or for videos. Everything leads to Diablo 3 expansion. Here you'll find countless new items, new UI, new maps and of course new skills. Also maximum level is increased to 150 and maximum skill level is set to 50. So this mod is obviously oriented at the end game, and that is awesome. Valhalla this is a great example of creative modding for Diablo 2. Instead of the typical vanilla enhancements, Valhalla takes a completely different approach, transforming the game to the spirit of Norse mythology so you can be a powerful as guardian. Everything has been changed, world, items and even the menu screen is remade for an immersive Norse mythology experience. It's not the prettiest mod, but it's very immersive. So if you are looking for a completely fresh Diablo 2 experience, this one may be the one you are looking for. Path of Diablo this mod takes inspiration from the more recent Path of Exile, taking some of its best mechanics and integrating them into Diablo 2. Project has been online for over 5 years and has a huge online player base. Here you will be introduced to various changes that may grind your gears while playing the vanilla version. In example, underutilized skills have been modified and rebalanced so that more builds are viable. Some skills simply have their damage upscaled, while others have been redone or replaced when a damage increase was not enough. They are not more powerful than, let's say, skills that you are used to. Balance is really well done here. You just have more options on how to play your game, and that is cool. Also, as you can see, you will encounter a few familiar bosses in new settings as well. Le Royaume des Ombres also known as the Realm of Shadows, might not be as popular as some of the other mods on the list, but that doesn't make it any less interesting. This mod overhauls the entire Diablo 2 game, giving you a completely new world with new monsters, items, quests and dungeons to grind your way through. You'll also be playing through a completely new storyline, which is designed to be at least twice as long as the base game, which can't really be a bad thing, because the longer it is, the better it is. That's what she said. Hell Unleashed. This is one of the few team-based Diablo 2 mods available, perfect for a night of classic gaming with friends or with your mother-in-law. I do not judge. The mod is made for tough players, and even the normal difficulty setting will test the size of your balls. Be sure that you like the challenge. The mod's dedicated realm is running on servers around the world, aiming for seamless experience with one of the largest communities in the game. Genesis mod was originally created for the Polish version of the game, but now it has English translation as well. This is an extensive modification, lots of new maps, new monsters, new items, new cube recipes and new rune words. In addition, there are many different events that extend the game as well. Eastern Sun Mod adds new skills, new items, new aura graphics, brand new uniques and sets, including sets destined for your mercenaries. Monsters are relocated and new creatures and bosses are added, including Black Knight, Goatman Lord, Beholder, Succubus, King Leoric and so on. And runes are now based on real language, Japanese, Hiragana. And that probably means that you can literally spell some swear words in Japanese. Imagine the Sword of Eternal Whoring or Armor of mighty ding dong. Overall there are 46 new runes as well with more than 240 rune words. This mod also includes other life quality improving mods such as Pluggy. Median XL 
This is one of the most popular Diablo 2 overhaul modifications with extensive end-game content, deep character customization and challenging gameplay. It offers thousands of new items, new skills for all classes and multiple improvements to the Diablo 2 engine as well. Also new areas to explore, new bosses, new… new everything. If you are wondering which one of these mods to choose from the list, you can just start with Median Excel and you will probably have a really great time. Back to Hellfire. If you are a fan of the old-school original Diablo, search no more. Back to Hellfire will probably make your life complete. Well, back to Hellfire and boobs. Life can't be complete without a lot of boobs. So as the name suggests, this mod aims to bring back the feel and atmosphere of the original Diablo. The mod follows a different storyline to better match the bigger maps, all while featuring new bosses, monsters and balance as well. Even graphics are remade, so it really feels like an old-school game. Game, just very smooth. And now, thank you for watching! Don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video, that will give you plus 5 to wisdom and plus 69 to your luck. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!